What is up guys? Welcome back to Whisper Tactical. My name is John and today I am going to bring you all another video on the Tactical X-Men Universal Level 3A Rated Ballistic Plates. This stuff absolutely blew my mind. I just dropped my first video on it today. Go check that out if you haven't already seen it. At the end of this video, I'll link it somewhere up in here. I'll put the, I'll put the specs in the description below and I'll roll them on the screen now. I hope you paused and got all of that because I know it's a lot to read, but trust me, it's worth the read if you're interested in some armor. Guys, these plates, it's a pair of plates for $199, but if you use code TXM10 at checkout, then you will save an additional 10%, which is 20 bucks, so $90 a plate, and trust me, when you watch that other video, you'll see why if you're looking for a level 3A plate, this is the, the best value that you're going to get. Tactical X Men, thank you guys so much. I look forward to doing more more business with you guys. I had a lot of fun with these plates. Thank you. Recently, I had a video that picked up in the algorithm and really just took off. And a lot of people asked me if I would make a video shooting some plates. And I said, absolutely. So I figured since it's mostly pistol uh, calibers, we would shoot a level 3A plate with it. And for those of y'all who do not know what the ammo I'm talking about or what video I'm talking about, I'm talking about my Liberty Ammunition Civil Defense. It is this bullet right here. This is a 10 millimeter, 60 grain, 2400 feet per second. We've got a 9 millimeter, 50 grain, 2040 feet per second. We've got a 357 SIG, 50 grains, 2300 feet per second. We've got a 223, 55 grain at 3,000 feet per second. I've got a 45 ACP over there, 70 grains, 1,900 feet per second, which is smoking out of a 45 ACP. And the one that I am most excited about is technically not civil defense. They've called it animal instinct, but if you look at it, it's definitely a civil defense round. I think they just geared this towards like hogs and coyotes, but it is a 96 grain bullet at 2,500 feet per second. I don't think I have another 300 blackout round that's moving that fast. Now, I wanna give a big shout out to my main channel sponsor and that is Gun Butter. Guys, Gun Butter is hands down the best lube that you are ever going to put on any of your firearms. It's my favorite. I've been using it for like the last four years. As a matter of fact, I've had that bottle for almost three years now and that's how much I have left and it's two-thirds of an ounce. I will link them down in the description below, www.gunbutter.com. If you use code WHISPER at checkout, you will save yourself an additional 20% off your entire purchase. Nine millimeter, boom. There we go, 50 grains, 2,040 feet per second. And everyone said that I needed to use realistic distances. I measured this. If I walked out of my bedroom and had to engage a threat in my house, it would be at about 14 feet. So we're back here just a hair under five yards. This is self-defense distances for me unless I'm right up on somebody. So this is what we're going to do. Level 3A is rated to stop 9 mil but it is not rated to stop anything over a certain feet per second. This is 2,040 feet per second. There is your bullet, right there. There's your entry, right dead center. That gun is fantastic. And there is your back force deformation, deformation. That is wicked. There's the bullet, you can see it like a little nipple there. It's coming out. Up next, 45 ACP. I'm trying to go from slowest to fastest, so yeah, let's go. 45 ACP, coming out of the HK Mark 23. So that one split the side. Pretty good back force deformation, deformation, but it did not go through. There's the bullet, there's the hole, I mean. Yep, good against 45 ACP, 1900 feet per second, by the way. Now, for 357 SIG, I got a Glock 22 with a six inch Jarvis conversion barrel. 
and a recover tactical brace and this is the bullet god 357 sig is a wicked bullet listen to me if you want a bullet that's one shot i'm telling you right now 357 sig is a hoss cat now let's drop this in place Ooh. So, there's where we entered, split everything on the opposite side of the 45, so split everything there, put the round right there, there's the back force deformation, and uh, you definitely have the wind knocked out of you, but you'd still be alive, for sure. 10 millimeter, out of my favorite 10 millimeter gun I've ever shot. The Rock Island Armory TAC Ultra Double Stack. Woo! Love this gun. Let's go check it out. I put the round right here. So we got 9, 45, 357 SIG, 10 mil. I'm trying to keep them all really tight so I can shoot towards the bottom and maybe over here for the rifle rounds because that's what's next. The 10 mil definitely ripped the back, but I can feel the bullet. You can see the bullet actually. It stopped right there. 300 blackout, 96 grains, 2,500 feet per second. I wanna be very clear that this armor was not rated to stop any of this, not at these speeds. This is out of my home build. Oh. Look at that nose dive. That's not a good sign. Let's try this again. All right. Right there's the entrance hole, right above the S. There you go, right there. And it zipped right out the back. Um, but, you know what? Let's back up a little bit and hit it again. Let's do that. And I'm gonna try to put them down here on these fresh corners. We're back here at 25 yards. I turned the plate upside down. I'm gonna try to put the 300 blackout in the top left, the 223 in the top right. This is out of my home build. 300 blackout first and then I'll run and check it out and see if it pierced ah shit there we go I put it in the top left or majority of the top left and it pierced at 25 now I know it pierced with the 300 so it's definitely going to pierce out of the 223. Dude, it didn't even move. So the 223 round hit right there and it definitely zipped through. I got 10 rounds of nine mil loaded up. I'm just gonna shoot it and see if it'll any of them will pass through now that it's hurt. That was 10 more nine mil rounds. Let's do three more 10 mil rounds. Let's go ahead and finish off this box of nine. Let's go ahead and walk up here close so you all can see what I'm doing.
I forgot my magazine for my 357 SIG. Okay, see what all we stopped. Let's see how many rounds did I shoot. I don't remember how many rounds I shot. There's another bullet right there. Oh, look at that one. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got five pass-throughs. So it didn't stop. No, 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 no. I shot it with three, three rifle rounds. So three of these are rifle rounds. So out of all of what I just did at the end, only two of those bullets passed through, and I'll bet it was 10 mil or 357 SIG. Man, that is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. Holy cow. Woo! Well, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified whenever I upload new content. If you like this video, then do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button for me. And if you have any experience with one of two things, the ammunition or the plates let me know down in the comment section below because i want to know what your experiences were with it especially especially that animal instinct 300 blackout round that stuff just looks crazy crazy awesome i can't wait to make other videos with this stuff guys remember please like share subscribe all that stuff i love you all i will see you all in the next video